Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you Taurus? How are you guys doing? Are you guys experiencing or feeling this full moon? Um, I'm actually doing this on the night of the full moon. Uh, we just finished spell work and I was extremely energetic. And um, Spirit was like, you know what? Let's get to the reading. So that's what we're doing. Anyways, this is overcharge of emotions, this full moon. What they're telling you here um, with this full moon is that of to conceal or reveal. That is the full moon in Scorpio. Um, we have a forming harsh T-square with Saturn in Aquarius and disruptive Uranus in Taurus, your sign, Situations can come to a boiling point, you guys. So what do I mean by that? Try to be in control of your emotions, okay? Uh, you may be triggered. People, situations, circumstances can unfold where you kind of lose your temper, you lose your cool, and you may react based off of emotion. So if you feel like you're being triggered, definitely take a breather, walk away, take a deep breath, analyze before reacting. Um, because reacting on an emotional aspect could be um, our downfall, meaning we can say or do things that we later regret. So again, be mindful of that. Now, Scorpio is the planet, sorry, not the planet, the sign, <laughs> the sign of transmutation. It is the sign of death and rebirth. There is definitely here, we just pulled out the nine of pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is talking to you about not only financial stability or the attainment of financial stability, but this is also speaking about finding your power, Taurus. This is about understanding that your power does not come from relationships. It does not come from other people or the people that you choose to surround yourself with. It is about understanding and knowing and believing in yourself. It is about loving yourself and understanding that in order for us to love in a healthy way to others, we must first learn to love ourselves. Okay? All right. Let's get into your reading. Your next card here is the Emperor card. That, that's exactly the energy I was sensing with the Nine of Pentacles. There's some form of manifestation that is going to be unfolding for you, Taurus. Whether it's in the career aspect, whether you're trying to build your career, I see the emperor card signifies to me the entrepreneurship type of energy. With the nine of pentacles, there is financial stability that's coming through for some of you guys finding that perfect job, for others of you landing that promotion. There is definitely a, a upping in, in your finances and in your career. The next card here is the nine of swords. So for some of you guys, you have two nines here. So what they're saying here is if there is any fears that you're experiencing or have been experiencing in the past couple of weeks that is connected either to your finances or to your career, whether you've been tested, whether you've been trialed, whether you feel like you've been overlooked at the job where you work at or the people that you surround yourself with. And if it's not career and finances, it could even be the people that you choose to surround yourself with. This could be relationships. This could be partnerships. Feeling like you are overlooked or you're taken for granted or people don't appreciate you. you these are energies that may be coming to surface or you may be experiencing already. And this is the full moon's energy that is amplifying that. The nine of swords is talking about feeling restless about your financial situation or about your career or about the stability that you in your mind feel like you should be at at this point in your life so it's about expectations your expectations i should say and there's a lot of restlessness or there's a lot of worry in regards to that you have the tower card here so major transformation there's major changes that are going to be ensuing from now all the way to two weeks. There is a situation that is going to be coming to a to a boiling point, literally, for some of you guys. 
it could be it could be a situation where again like i said there is a feeling of being restricted there's a feeling of being overlooked it's like I've been putting a lot of effort, a lot of energy, nothing is happening, what's going on, and then boom, all of a sudden changes start to happen. Seven of Wands is standing your ground. It is about knowing your worth. The Nine of Pentacles, it's knowing if you're working at a company or you've been working for a company for quite a while and they haven't increased your payment, but your pay, sorry, but they continue to give you responsibilities or they continue to rely on you on certain aspects that perhaps they shouldn't, it's time you start setting boundaries, Taurus. It's time you stop either taking on and being like, yeah, I can take it. Yeah, I can take it. Or yes, I can do it. You have to, you have to set boundaries. And we're talking about healthy boundaries. It's about you're not wanting to pay me extra for all the extra work I'm doing then I am no longer going to be the reliable one you go to. In relationships, if you feel like you continuously keep putting yourself in a situation where you feel like they're just taking advantage of you or they expect you to be the one to, whether it be the bread, you know, the bread maker at home, um, and this could even be for females as well. It's like a lot of responsibilities are on your shoulders, Taurus. And I feel that the responsibilities triple because of your expectations or what you think you should. It's like you you pressure yourself into becoming, becoming or having. And because you're not at that point in time right now, there is a lot of restlessness because of that. I feel like it's expectations, but it has nothing to do uh, on the outside. I feel that it has more to do with the expectations you have for yourself. Now, the Ten of Swords is an ending cycle. Eight of Swords. Okay, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I feel that a lot of you guys, if you are currently in a relationship or committed relationship, you've been feeling stuck for quite a while. You've been feeling like things are just not working out. For some of you guys, you may be holding on for dear life. For others of you, this could be your partner that's holding on for dear life. With the Tower card here, though, and the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles, you've been refusing to be single or you've been refusing to embrace some time apart in order to find yourself again, Taurus. And I feel that because you've been refusing that or you've been kind of convincing yourself that, you know, we'll get it together at some point, we'll get it together. It's like the universe is going to step in and shake things up for you, especially with this full moon. Just letting you know, if things get heavy when getting into an argument or some type of situation that can blow out of proportion, try to keep it together, Taurus, because uh, I see them really pushing your limit. And you can just flip that switch and later regret certain actions. So again, if things are not unfolding in a positive or in a healthy way in a relationship, you're going to be forced to deal with these issues and either forced to admit to yourself that if a relationship fails, it takes two people. Meaning you don't have to keep trying and trying and trying just because you're not a quitter, Taurus. It doesn't work that way. Sometimes we have to stop. We have to quit, not because of anything other than you need to allow the other person to step up. Yeah, I feel that what you're experiencing or will be experiencing in the next coming uh, weeks is something that's been bro like brewing underneath the surface. Um, you guys, try the best you can to keep yourself optimistic or to keep yourself around people that are positive. I see here with the star card and the four of cups and the devil card, it's like there is a moment of clarity or there is a moment of understanding that an action needs to be taken a decision needs to be taken, yet you're refusing, and it's going to bring out 
the worst either in you or the worst in those around you. The devil card does represent um, toxic energy. It represents, you know, it speaks about binding yourself to a situation that is not working Whether it's because of the fear of being alone, if you're in a relationship. For others of you, it could be because there is a fear of standing alone, meaning making it out on your own. Could be financial reasons why you're still dealing with this person. But the devil card is here underneath the Ten of Swords. So you have to cut out those toxic traits or those toxic decisions that you keep making because you blame it on circumstance. And what they're telling you is circumstances cannot change unless you change, unless you take a different route, unless you make a different choice, Taurus. For some of you guys, you're definitely going to, Universe is definitely going to make you make some type of decision, especially those of you guys that are in a toxic relationship or in a toxic connection or if you're in a relationship because of circumstance, meaning because you rely on the person's finances or because you rely on some type of aspect, you rely on them. And, and in reality, this may be an excuse that you've told yourself, whether it be children involved whatever this is, it's like you've created so many reasons why you're still in this connection, even though it's not working out. Now, for some of you guys, it could be connected or tied to a situation that you just refuse to take action. Whether it's a fam family dynamic, whether it's you providing and taking care of a toxic person in your life and it's like the repetition of i'm so tired of it i'm so over it but yet you're not you're not doing anything to change the situation it could for some of you guys it could even be like constantly saving a child of yours that keeps going through these and it, it's like it's my child like i have to you know be there for them it's kind of like you saving them all the time you're being the toxic one in this situation because you're not allowing them to rely on themselves. You're not allowing them to prepare themselves for life. You're doing a disservice to yourself and to your child or to your partner, to the person that you're dealing with that continuously keeps making these very stupid mistakes and it's like you keep saving them now the card that you need to embrace for this month of may 2021 is the wheel of fortune and the wheel of fortune says whether you are ready or not there is cycles that that's just how life is there is seasons just like there's seasons in life there's chapters in our life whether you're ready to let go there are certain cycles that we must release in order to embrace new ones. What they're telling you here is embrace the new ones, okay? Whatever it is that spirit is unfolding for you in the next coming weeks, do not resist those changes. Things may change for the positive if you embrace the new beginnings and take action towards that where you've been either null or whether you've been in complete stillness or things could get worse if you continue to hold on if you continue to refuse to do any type of action and keep yourself in that situation now i'm going to be pulling out a shadow oracle card uh this is the energy that you need to overcome or that you need to work through for the month of May 2021. Spirit, what is the what is the message for Taurus? What is it that they need to learn or work on for this month of May 
2021 in regards to this situation. Okay, and we have solitude. Cave. Yeah, I feel that for some of you guys, you have been dealing with this situation where there is toxic people around you or a toxic partner that you keep making up excuses for why you're there. And the wheel is telling you, for good or bad, there are cycles and this cycle has come to an end with the Ten of Swords. Whether you refuse to embrace it or not, we're going to do what we have to do to show you the light. Solitude could represent that you've become completely... It's like there's a feeling of loneliness. For some of you guys, you've lost yourself in this relationship. For others of you, you've completely submerged yourself in your solitude. And that could be the reason why you're experiencing depression. Could be the reason why you're experiencing restlessness. It's like, if you don't surround yourself with other people, especially people that are optimistic and positive, you're just dealing with the same energy, which is that of your energy. And if your energy is off, guess what's going to happen? You're going to continuously keep putting yourself in a situation of feeling like you're not in control of your life, like you have completely isolated yourself or pushed friends and family members away. And you can even start to grow resentment towards those around you that you feel are living a better life. Whether it, they are or not is outside the point. But this is showing me like a feeling of why are they doing that and I'm not. And, and that shows to me resentment. And it's not really resentment towards people. It has more to do with the unhappiness that you may be dealing or have been dealing with. You have to get yourself out of this energy, Taurus. All right, my lovelies. I hope that this gives you guys some type of insight. I wish you guys the very best. Full moon blessings to all of you guys. And we'll see each other soon. Bye.